Feel the rhythm. Feel the speed. Lock up. We have a roof pushing team. Ah. G'day. Welcome to another all Aussie adventure. Today, I'm going to show you around the foam pit. This is the breeding ground for all the new tricks. The foam pit's in the front yard with all the rest of the freestyle jumps and it's not all it's cracked up to be. It's really hard landing in there. I've broken my leg in there. I've seen other people break bones in there multiple times over the years. So definitely not super exciting to get in there, but it's a lot better than trying something straight to do it. Before I go to X Games each year and, and work on something for best trick, this is where it all happens. This is where the ideas get tried out. You figure out what you can and can't do and pretty much try and iron the kinks out before you go roll the dice to do it. Foam Pit's been here for about 15 years now, I think. The first original one actually burnt down and I rebuilt it all, a metal cage, a steel roof on bearings that rolls back and to keep the foam out of the weather because it deteriorates really bad from the sun and, and the other elements. And then since then, I've built a big cover over the whole thing because I struggled leading into X Games each year. It was our winter in Australia. Every year I'd try and be training, it was raining and the dirt would always be super muddy and I couldn't get a whole lot of practice in. So. I put the effort in and built a big cover over everything so we're able to ride pretty much the day after it rains and it's ready to go again. It can ride in the rain here, it's, it's really good. I don't think it'll make the cut. So this is the foam pit roof, it protects the foam from the elements. It's made of steel purlins and multicolored sheets. As you can see, I took a one sheet of tin off everyone's house in town and got this thing together. Right now, it's normally a two person job to get this thing back, but unfortunately today all we have here is Des and Troy, so we're gonna have to uh, see how we go. As you can see, it's spring loaded. That's exactly how it's meant to be. Right now, we seem to have the whole thing jammed up a bit, so we're gonna try here on the right side. Feel the rhythm, feel the speed. Lock up, we have a roof pushing team. Nah. Oh, that's what it's caught on that, you dickhead. Hang on, this is something a wire brush will fix. Rightio, that's why it was spring loaded. It'll make sense in a minute when it gets back. Ah, he's out of puff. Righto. So we've got the roof off, the foam's ready to go. It's uh, got it acquired over the last kind of 10 years. A lot of it I bought new from manufacturing in Sydney and then some of it came from a um, from an all boys boarding school. It was the old mattresses that we cut up and those mattresses seem to have some really like hard spots in the foam. Some of those blocks are really solid for some reason. Let's get in there and get this thing soft. <laughs> it's not as soft as you'd think. It's actually not soft at all. Right, yeah, because it's flammable, well, one thing to check when you get it going is to make sure that there's water in case you've got to put a fire out. Yep, we're looking good. So this is the crane we use to get the bikes out. When you jump in, literally go bang, around the handlebars, around the handlebars, and go fishing, lift the bike out, and then drop down here. So this is the ramp. We've just got it in, set up pretty close to where it's got to be. And I'm not sure if the roof here is going to be tall enough without hitting it. So idea that we have is setting up some streamers to hang under the roof about where the peak of the jump will be. And the theory is you're going to hit this streamer before you're going to hit the roof. So hopefully you don't headbutt the roof and you only take the streamer out would be the plan. It'd be a little tester, just so we know. Righto, that's the phone pit in a nutshell. Make sure you subscribe so next week you can see a bit of action in there.